Today we're ranking every Kanye West song. Bruh. Jesus King is the worst Kanye album by far, and it's not even close. And this song isn't terrible. Honestly, the choir is pretty nice, but it's kind of lacking memorable verses, so it's all the way down here. Another half pick, Don Dextra. Uh, not super impressed off my first couple of listens. Pretty mid. Personally, the Chick Flay line is slightly amusing to me, but other than that, nah. <laughs> I don't find you funny. Well, I do feel bad for what Good Music did to Designer. Can they age so badly? I'm sorry. The production on this song is pretty cool, actually. And Ann Clements is nice on the track. It's a little too religiously for me, especially when Kanye comes on. Definitely go check out Ann Clements' solo stuff, though. Song title is pretty accurate. Hook his ass, though. Like, good God. Number 145, Hands On. Fred Hammond refrain is pretty good, but Kanye is just mid on this. Sorry. 144, On God. Pure beat is really solid, and Kanye does his thing. Not really a bad song at all. 143, Pinocchio Story. Actually, a pretty solid line track from the 808s era but not a song i go back to a lot 142 jesus lord good verses but it's really long-winded 141 lift yourself solid beat but it's a meme song 140 see you in my nightmares mediocre performances from both ye and wayne here mrs pu Come on, man. Number 139, Bad News. Another song that's kind of flat off 808s. Uh, I just don't feel like it really goes anywhere. 138, God Is. Mid. 137, Jesus Gospel. Eminem version's better. 136, I'm in it. Bit of a weird one off Jesus, but I like his cadence and the double vocals aren't super annoying to me. That sweet and sour sauce line, though. Number 135, No Child Left Beyond. Pretty heavenly beat and it's definitely not a bad song by any means. Very fitting outro to the album and pretty cathartic. Number 134, Addiction. I feel like Addiction gets overshined by a lot of the more popular and energetic cuts off labor registration but also some solid verses from the original trilogy era kanye so can't really complain number 133 i am a god the b on this one is so far also the croissant line alone just makes the god tier number 132 champions definitely great for its time but it's aged kind of weirdly for me i think it's because i played a lot back in the day number 131 guilt trip this song has kind of an 808s vibe to it and i think it's pretty nice definitely a deeper cut off Jesus, but still pretty solid number 130 new again I like the beat a lot and definitely doesn't have the same sharpness as pre a albums which is replaced a lot more by gospel aspects from the recent jik era not super great but not bad number 129 power remix off the good friday's tapes some parts of the song are great and i feel like it's even better than original but the intro is a little weak so overall i think the original is better number 128 junior very hyper track off donda and pretty solid cut although the hook is pretty repetitive 127 everything we need one of the better cuts off jik has a nice choir number 126 on site really braced it but it has a pretty solid verse from kanye and i think it's a great track to set the tone for jesus 125 i thought about hugging you it doesn't really age well since it came out but uh it's interesting look into how kanye was feeling at the time 124 good friday I love to be on a song and still puts me in a good mood when I listen to it. 123, Fall of God. One of the bangers from JRK. Really tight flow from Kanye and dope music video. 122, Send the Banger. 121, Alien SpaceX. Banger. 120, Remote Control. Banger. 119, Donda. I thought having this as the intro to the original Donda sessions was pretty hard. I feel like I kind of forgot about it after that. 118, Heaven and Hell. Dope music video and the B is pretty crazy. Number 117, Keep My Spirit Alive. Guest verses are solid in this one. Number 116, Never see me again. Pretty slept on banger. Number 115, Tree Lights. Number 114, Black Skinhead. When this song came out back in the day, I was pretty obsessed with it as like a 14 year old, but now, I mean, it's pretty good still, but I don't really listen to it that much. Number 113, Christian Dior Denim Flow. Great hook and stellar verses from everyone. Uh, just glad some bangers came out of the Good Fridays. Number 112, Robocop. Great vibe from 808s. I've never actually seen the movie. I wonder if it's any good. Number 111, Amazing. I like it. Number 110, Say You Will. Iconic beat. Still a classic. Number 109, All Mine. Low key banger off EA. And Clemens is really fire on this. Number 108, Blood on the Leaves. A classic from Jesus. Nina Simone sample just goes absolutely crazy. It's insane beat all around. Number 107, Boldest Winter. Another ballad from the 808s. Great track. Number 106, Hold My Liquor. Followed. Number 105, Lord I Need You. I like his singing on this one. Number 104, Come to Life. We're like Toasty Digital's remix of this in Nikes. Number 103, Paranoid. Banger. Number 102, Crack Music. Solid cut off Lay Ridge. Uh, not really pop leaning, but doesn't make it bad. Number 101, My Way Home. Same as Crack Music. Common does his thing on here. Pretty solid cut from Late Red. Number 100, Pure Souls. I mean, Roddy fell off so hard, but at least we got the song before it happened. Number 99, All Day. Classic banger from the Jesus era. Pretty solid song. Number 98, Life of the Party. Kanye's verse is a little weak compared to Andre's. Otherwise, it's a great song of great production. Number 97, New Slaves. That classic off Jesus. Great song and still a solid gym track. Number 96, I Feel Like That. Second part of All Day. Pretty sad track and this one included because I think more people should hear it. Number 95, 
five. Yikes. Thank you, Drake, for help Kanye with this one. Number 94, Never Let Me Down. J and Ye in the early 2000s, can't go wrong. Number 93, Cash to Burn. Being her off the Yandi leaks and relatively finished too. Number 92, Homecoming. One of my least favorite graduation tracks. I mean, it's good. It's just somewhere on the level of the others. Number 91, New Body. Great B on this one. Number 90, Sky City. I like designer on this track. Number 89, So Paul. So Paul has some great verses, but this is not a song I revisit a lot. Pretty solid though. Number 88, Love Lockdown. Classic from 808. Number 87, Christmas in Harlem. Best Kanye Christmas song ever. Number 86, Wouldn't Leave. Great song from Ye. Reminds me of freshman year of college. Number 85, Welcome to Heartbreak. Another classic from 808. Number 84, Mercy. Banger from Pusha T, 2 Chains, Kanye and Big Sean. Number 83, God Breathe. Decent cunt from Donda. Number 82, No Mistakes. Charlie Wilson. Number 81, 24. Great song from Donda. Kanye singing is pretty nice on this track. Number 80, I'll Fly Away. It's a short interlude, but I've always liked it. Number 79, Believe What I Say. Groovy banger from Donda. Can't believe they censored it though, or at least that's what I've heard. Number 78, Get Him High. Solid cut from the college dropout. Number 77, Freestyle 4. I like the sample on this track, but it hasn't really aged the best. Number 76, really cathartic track from Donda, but there's just something about it that's really catchy. Number 75, Moon. Really makes you feel like you're on the moon. Number 74, Monster. The Jay-Z verse is just goaded. I mean, like, number 73, Three, feedback. Pretty straightforward banger from T-Lop. Number 72, Hell of a Life. Love the guitar in the song, but not one of his best from the album. Still good though. Number 71, Breathe In, Breathe Out. Pretty good cut from Call Dropout. I don't mind it. Number 70, the song really hasn't aged that well, but doesn't make it any less impressive musically and collaboratively. Number 69, Diamonds. Classic from Lay Ridge. Number 68, uh, funny and classic banger from The Call Dropout. Very solid cut. Number 67, I used to hear this all the time on the radio growing up, and for good reason. I mean, it's a banger, man. Number 66, Drive slow. Low key cut from Late Ridge. Really good though. Number 65. Praise God. New Age Banger off Donda. I really like the intro to this one. Even though they kind of like switched it up a little. Number 64. Mama's Boyfriend. Solid cut from the T-Lob Leftovers. Definitely recommend. Number 63. Highlights. Pretty fun song. Number 62. Hurricane. This song took forever to came out but I'm glad it did. Number 61. Lost in the World. Bonnie Vera goes crazy on this. Number 60. Barry Bonds. Very suave cut from Graduation. Great song. Number 59. Bring Me Down. Solid cut from Late Ridge. Number 58. Two words. Classic verse from yay and most def on this one number 57 all day featuring kendrick great remix with kendrick on it number 56 fml sad banger from t-law number 55 gold digger classic production still holds up too number 54 flashing lights for tracks like this it's clear that kanye isn't just held to a single genre great song number 53 blame game Aphex twin samples are great number 52 big brother it's all introspective cut from graduation number 51 fade groovy banger from t-law their production stellar on this track all right and now we're in the top 50 number 50 we major classic from lay ridge versus a goaded beats goaden great track number 49 violent crimes oh sunny shake is so good on this one i know it's ghost written but it's a great record number 48 waves not a great cut from t-lop the use of the choir as a part of the b is super dope number 47 good night great song off graduation it's a nice companion track to the opening song number 46 ghost town second half of the song is magical really great track from me. number 45 bitter sweet poetry great song from graduation production is solid number 44 school spirit really solid cut from tcd chipmunk soul samples hell yeah. number 43 power i mean not really much to say other than really does sound like there's 3,000 hours of work put into the song number 42 champion amazing production samples crazy number 41 see me now another killer sample and charlie wilson sends home on this absolute banger from dark fantasy number 40 off the grid definitely one of the standouts from donda and the fivia verse alone puts this song in the upper half of this list number 39 celebration great song that encapsulates kanye's emotions after the long deserved success of the call dropout number 38 30 hours. I didn't fully appreciate the song until years after Pablo came out, but 30 hours is a masterpiece with Kanye shining lyrically. Number 37, Last Call. 10 minute outro to his debut album? I mean, it is a little long winded, but I love every minute of it. Plays like a mini documentary almost. Number 36, Max. Banger. Number 35, No More Parties in LA. Another top tier Kanye verse. A lot of people say he outrap Kendrick on this, and I kind of agree. Number 34, Brothers. I like the demo to Violent Crimes. It just really has a homey feel to it, and it's a song I always keep coming back to. Number 33, The Glory. Great track from Graduation. Number 32, Hard to Stretch My Hands. Metro kills it, man. Number 31, Jail. The hook is God tier. Number 30, Wolves. Really makes you feel like a wolf, you know? Number 29, Touch the Sky. Really makes you feel like Lupe Fiasco, you know? Number 28, Can't Tell Me Nothing. Classic. Number 27, We Don't Care. Solid comfort from College Dropout. 
about there's something about the college trilogy that has that magic you know number 26 late the song is easy to listen to and not in a bad way number 25 real friends great production great verses great execution it's all track from pablo now we're in the top 25 songs here we'll see what the rest shakes up to here number 24 saint pablo body spinning with sample on the chorus either number 23 jesus walks number 22 gorgeous i have the entire first verse memorized number 21 good life deep pains coded number 20 ultralight beam one of the most memorable cuts off t -Lop. it's a great song this kind of sucks what happened to chance number 19 famous the anti taylor swift anthem number 18 spaceship i love this song so much i mean production is top notch number 17 slow jams twista with the classic verse also the jamie fox story behind the song is pretty hilarious number 16 family business the song really makes you feel like you're part of the family business all right now we're in the top 15 here so it's coming down to the wire your song if your favorite songs are in the top 15 again please do not do not flame me too hard in the comments that's all i'm gonna say all right number 15 stronger i mean do i even say anything number 14 good morning Number 13, Devil in the Dress, Rick Ross. Number 12, Bound 2. An absolute classic. The B is insanely good and features one of the most tightest deliveries from Kanye in the post Dark Fantasy era. Go to track. Number 11, Only One. Talking about Kanye's mom speaking through him to his daughter. I mean, you really can't mess that up. All right, now we're in the fabled top 10 here. Number 10, Heard Him Say. Adam Levine goes crazy on this one. Number 9, Gone. The song might have the best Kanye verse on the latter half of the song. What do y'all think? Number 8, Dark Fantasy. One Piece meme side. This is one of the most unforgettable opening tracks to your album I've ever heard, and it also served as his comeback to the music scene after the Taylor Swift debacle, not including the Good Friday songs, but a very good track. Number seven, I Wonder. Most of the graduation songs are really inspiring, and I Wonder is no exception. Really love the beat on this track, and it's so dreamlike and makes me feel like a kid again. Number six, Roses. Roses is another classic track that shows us more into Connie's life through wordplay, top tier production, and great guest book. Now we're in the top five here. Number five, Hey Mama. Connie's tribute to his mother is easily one of the best songs simply do the sentiment alone but the song is great too number four everything i am an amazing beat and dj premiere of the scratching i mean go to song definitely one of my favorites number three through the wire serving as one of his earliest hits through the wire is like the origin story to kanye showing how he overcame a tragic accident and uses it to further his artistic storytelling number two all falls down kanye is owed to consumerism and wealth is still a classic that i love to listen to wherever i am also the live version is amazing all right guys Bruh. last but not least we're talking about my favorite favorite Kanye song of all time officially ranked it's my favorite guys I just I mean I know some of you guys might hate me for this opinion but I just had to say it I mean yay versus people it's just it's just the best Kanye song like of all time like there's no debate about it so well, my actual favorite song is Runaway the song is Kanye's magnum opus in my opinion and has a lot of different pieces of things I love about his music and the film connecting it all is a great watch too there's something about Runaway that feels timeless even to this day alright guys we have finished with our Kanye song ranking hopefully you guys have enjoyed it and not just skip to the end to see what my number one was I'm sure some of you have though but honestly let me know what you guys think and I don't know if you guys want to rank all the songs together but maybe you're like top 10 or top 15 in the comments i'd love to see them but uh that's where i'm sure see you guys later